One way to plot your property over an Apple map is to get an iPad or iPhone app that lets you digitize points, lines and areas. Many of the CMT apps for iPad and iPhone provide such functionality. I'll show you how to add a few points, a line, and a couple areas to a map job in Forrester GPS GIS. This screen shows three points that have been added at the corners of a triangle plot. When you tap on the topic view icon, you will see that these points are on the layer called corner. With this topic layer active, I will tap on the tools menu and select the add point manually tool. In the add point screen, I can tap anywhere on the screen to add a point. Or, I can use the node tool to help me place the point precisely where I want. What if I want to digitize one of the houses, but don't want it to be on the same layer as the corner points? I'd go back to map view and tap on the topic menu. I'd select new topic and enter house as the topic name. I can even add a descriptor for the house topic, such as the number of residents. Back in map view, I select the house topic. I don't want the houses to also display as blue dots. So I double tap the topic symbol, then assign the symbol and color I want. Now I go back to the add point screen and digitize a couple houses. In map view, I tap on the sheet view icon to display a spreadsheet for the houses topic. If I know how many people live in a particular house, I could add this information to the spreadsheet. To digitize a fence, I will first create a new topic called fence and select line as the topic type. Again, I double tap on the default symbol, then choose the line style and color I want for the fence. With the fence topic selected, I can use add line manually to digitize the fence. First, I tap on the snap to node tool, so my fence will start exactly at a corner point. With the available nodes highlighted, I can tap near the node I want, and the starting node of the line will snap to it. Then I turn off the Snap to Node tool, and tap along the boundary of the land plot. Again, I select the Snap to Node tool, and snap my line to the ending node. Voila! By now you should know, how to add a new topic layer. For the farm plots, I'd add a topic layer named Plot, and select Area as the type. I pick an area pattern, and color, for the plot topic, then select, Add Area manually. Here is a neat tool called, Include Boundary. I can select this tool, and use the fence, as part of the plot boundary. I select the starting, and ending nodes of the fence to include its entire length. Then I complete the plot by adding more nodes along its boundary. As the plot topic is still active, I can digitize another farm plot by selecting the Add Area Manually tool. I turn off the, Add icon and drag the triangular plot to the center. Now I turn on the add icon so I'm ready to digitize again. I want to snap to the existing corner points for the triangular plot. Therefore, I tap the snap to node tool to turn the nodes on. Now I can easily tap at the corners of the plot to create the area. There. What to do with the digitized points, lines and areas? Forrester GPS GIS provides these additional functions. Please check out the CMT apps at the Apple App Store. Thank you for watching this presentation.